All right, Bernie Kratz, this is Jesus uh, here reporting after what just happened. I don't know if, how many of you are familiar with what just happened, but I had to come over here because my phone ran out of battery. Uh, I'm wearing this uh, Apple headset because it's really loud in here, but these are all people who feel the burn. These are all Bernie Sanders supporters who have just been kicked out of Nevada State Democratic Convention because the party chair slammed her gavel despite there being more than 60 to 70 percent of opposition to her motion to end the convention ended the convention she slammed her gavel on her desk and then ran off with security in tow what do you all the video calls i have to make for me to send you yeah so what i'm probably going to do is just keep going to go home set up this probably be the reason why i got ready So yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly a little bit delusional after being here for more than 16, 17 hours, spending all day fighting for a cause I believe in, and then having the Nevada State Democratic Party chair with him slap her gap on table and call them to close despite there being an overwhelming motion to not do so. Uh, at this point, let me see if I can get some people who feel the burn to say kind of what they felt, kind of what their thoughts are after the convention. Um, spending all day here, what does it mean? Change the rules. 
So we play the rules as well. And when the DNC don't even want to acknowledge their own rules and go and just scrap everything because they know they're losing, that makes me think that well everything is off. Uh, everything is everything. It doesn't count. It doesn't matter. If you're if you don't go along with the sheep, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have another a better word for it. If you don't go along with the sheep or the majority, quote unquote, you will not be heard. You will be pushed aside. And I think they're making a very grave, horrible mistake. This, this. I'm still for Bernie. I'm still gonna fight for Bernie. I'm still gonna fight for revolution. I don't know when. I don't know when. If Hillary gets the nomination, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, Because what they did today made me, they're so disrespectful and condescending to us when we are just as educated, just as knowledgeable in the system, just as, just as, just as hopeful and enthusiastic for our candidate. We just want to be heard and just, and if you don't listen to us, that's when stuff happens, that's when people revolt. So if you don't give, if you don't acknowledge a person, I work in education. If you don't acknowledge a, a kid having a tip of tantrum, or um, if you don't like do anything to deflect it, or if you don't do anything to help, like that kid is just gonna get louder and louder and louder, and everybody gonna get aggressive. This is what happened. So I'm just, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking loud. No, it's fine. Music and I'm losing my voice and I don't know. Like I'm, I'm, I've barely been here in Vegas two years. I'm, I came from Ferguson, Missouri, like a month before my crown was shot. I moved here. Um, so I already came from a very different culture where everything was very segregated and racially and I come to here where I thought it was very diverse and I thought people would listen to me and really that was just a facade so I don't know thank you so much thank you <laughs> are you gonna put this up somewhere it's live this has been all live streams you've been live yeah you've been and I want to know did anyone like did anyone get the chair Oh. The chair making that speech. I don't even know if anybody got it on video because she talked so fast. If you look back at her Periscope screen, you can see Nevada State Democratic Party chairwoman Roberta slam her gavel up on her yes. table, called the Democratic Party convention to a close, despite there being more than 50 to 60 to 70 percent of opposition in the room to a close, storming off after closing the convention with police in tow. Not democratic. And if you want to get the final vote, I saw somebody ask for the final vote. This is the vote that they went with. They. I asked somebody. Somebody asked, did they get the final vote? This is the vote that they went with. Let me get it. I believe 30 delegates. Uh, Six one thousand one thousand six hundred and ninety five Hillary Clinton supporters, one thousand six hundred sixty two Bernie Sanders supporters, despite there being more than sixty four Bernie Sanders delegates, uh, still waiting to be acknowledged without being heard, as you were seen in the minor report from the Credentials Committee for Lexley Sexton. Imagine the 
dictatorship. And this was democracy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, hey. uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get the microphone since it's so loud in here. Uh, this is live streaming to people. It's on Reddit. Like it's that. live broadcasting the entire yeah. So, entire this is Joan Cato, who was the director of Nevada for the campaign. Hi, That's how's it going? Um, it was kind of crazy in there, you know. Um, they struck 64 of our delegates, um, and we lost by 32. So, I think you guys saw what happened. We clearly had the majority when we left. And what happened? Thank you. Can I get your information? I just, uh, I mean, I want to. Yeah, let me put it in while I'm. I don't want to share it live. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, right. Sorry, sorry. Do you want to say anything while I'm doing this? Sure, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> fine. Like, drop the face. That was my fault. I killed the feed. I'm sorry. It's still going, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's still going. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm I'm one of the Bernie Sanders um, supporters. I I don't know. I've been helping out with Joan. I don't know. There's other people who have been doing a lot more than me, but um, we we were just in there. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like they there was an open motion to do a recount. Roberta Lang took the stand and she said like motion to shut the whole thing down, adjourn the the, the convention and the motion. Everybody was screaming no, and she says, motion carries, and hit the gavel and said, meeting's adjourned. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her security contract was up, so the police were in the back, and so yeah, she dropped the gavel and walked away. Yeah. A lot has been happening here at the Nevada State Democratic Convention. Uh, please watch all the Periscope videos. I will be saving this. If you're on Sanders for President, uh, I'll make a mod post documenting what happened tonight with all the videos. Um, so much. Do you want to say anything on live stream? This is a microphone. Yeah, that's the mic right there. Um, I just want to say that I can't. Just want to say that I can't believe what I just went through. As someone who's dedicated at least six months to uh, Nevada, I came out here to try to see if maybe we could close this out on the kind of note that we needed to. And all we saw was more of the same corruption, same more bullshit that, you know, Hillary. And I'm sorry, I'm going to call you out now, Sanders campaign, that a lot of your own people did against us today. And I will be talking to a lot of you next week. Because it's inexcusable that our own campaign would work against us. Oh, there's a protest on the side of the building. Let's go find out what that means. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if... Let me clean the screen. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to record it just because I'm running out of battery. But let's venture out. Which, uh, what's, where, where do you think it's, this is going on? That way or this way? There's apparently a uh, protest on the side of the building. Anyone know any information on that? Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, let's figure this out. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna grab my charger. It's been a rough day with the power. A protest. I have so much stuff on me right now. It's not even funny. So excuse the horrible close-ups. Uh, give me a second. It's a one-man, one-man operation right now. Let me flip it so you're not looking at me. We have self-parking over here. Let's go this way. of protests on the side of the street. Uh, I'm trying to find them, so I'm walking through the casino, so bear with me, please.
right. Oh man, let's keep going. This is the uh, Paris, I believe. All right, I think I'm almost out of here. So bear with me. Okay, we're almost out. We're good. Here because it's private property, okay? All right, I'll just leave. So that was the exact same security that the Democratic National Convention called to uh, put Bernie supporters away. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna try and find this. Uh, stay tuned for more live streams.